What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Apologize for the audio problems if there are any in the first little couple minutes here. Uh, just gonna pull my mic around here, uh, real quick, guys. I want to give you a quick introduction to what I'm about, and then we're gonna get into today's Madden 25 video. Um, this channel exists to help people improve in Madden 25. Uh, if you have any, uh, you know, problem with Madden 25 or question, uh, I try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Uh, I try to give you tips and plays that are effective and and good for certain situations. If you use them properly, uh, you will improve your game. Uh, a lot of guys that come to me say thank you a lot for your help and tips and you've made my game a lot better and uh, that's what I'm here to do I'm here to try to help you uh, along and getting better at the game so that you can enjoy it more because uh, Madden 25 is uh, my favorite game uh, to play and the Madden series is my favorite series of all time okay so let's hop into today's tip uh, real quick before I do that I do want to draw your attention uh, momentarily here to the description uh, there you can find some other videos you can find some videos on the screen but you should be able to find uh, plenty of other things that you can check out related to man 25 um, try to list some by topic in the description for you uh, so you can uh, have that access to that information also the setup for today's video will be in the description below and lastly guys if you have any comments uh, suggestions questions or uh, problems about anything I discussed in today's video you can leave that in the comment section below alright guys so today's blitz comes once again from my favorite formation so far in the uh, defense uh, for the Madden 25 next gen console the nickel strong and the play we're going to be using uh, from the nickel strong for today's blitz of the day uh, we're going to be taking a look at the corner crash three uh, and this is going to give us three man edge pressure off of the left side alright guys so the way we want to set up this blitz is you want to base a line you want to go ahead and I like to shift my linebackers to the right just because it gives it a nice uniform look, a balanced look, uh, but that's not required to this blitz. Um, real quick, we'll take a look at it if we don't do any adjustments and you see we will get left edge pressure, but it's kind of a delayed pressure and, and, and you're also blitzing a couple guys you shouldn't have to. So uh, let's go ahead and try to simplify our blitzers so that we can maximize our coverage and therefore maximize our defensive play. So base align, you want to shift your linebackers to the right you want to crash your line to the right and now uh, comes the following adjustments spy this defensive tackle flat zone or man this tackle up on the tight end curl to flat zone the uh, right of screen defensive end Justin Tuck here and now you can use or control Williams what I like to do most with this play is I'll just take Williams and just flat out say hey you're going into a purple zone over there and then I'll use or control the safety into the middle uh, of the left seam here and you'll see the snap of the ball. Uh, we're going to get that quick left edge pressure. That time the guard got in the way a little bit. Uh, but you see, it's it's for the most part, it's pretty good, pretty effective uh, left edge pressure. And if he gets picked up, typically that corner will uh, finish off that blitz to make it uh, at least uh, at least gives you a, a benefit of a guarantee of pressure here. Uh, and you are only having to send three guys. Uh, so here we'll show it to you one more time. And now you see, even though my, my slot guy gets picked up, my corner will come in anyway. Okay, so that's kind of the main point that I wanted to draw is we this blitz adds a backup plan in case our sugar three seam stops uh, coming in, and we'll show you. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to that defense that I can show you uh, how we get three man left edge pressure. Uh, but you see, when it does fire in, it's very effective. And uh, but the cool part is we have a backup plan if he gets picked up. So uh, this is a very good play to generate left edge pressure. Uh, also, guys, you can check out my right edge pressure video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And uh, now you're you're sending a lot of pressure to your opponent. And, and this is something unfamiliar to most people in 925. Uh, so there you go, guys. There's some left edge pressure you can add to your playbook. Uh, also, guys, be sure to be on the lookout for my next gen defensive ebook. I'm going to teach you how I use all of this stuff in combination to have one of the best defenses in the game right now. Now. And uh, lastly, guys, remember that if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, uh, or problems with this video, uh, please let me know in the comments. That way I can get back with you as soon as possible and uh, address the issue. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that this blitz was going to benefit you somewhat in Man 25. And also leave your suggestions uh, for newer videos if you guys want to uh, have some ideas or some questions of things that you're having problems with and you want them addressed in these following videos. Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that this defense is something that you can use, and we'll see you tomorrow.